I'm noticing a recent uptick in deluxe albums. Young Thug put one out for so much fun, Lil Uzi Vert dropped a deluxe for Eternal A Take, even artists on the local level are putting out deluxe albums. Now, for the longest time, it seemed like they had disappeared, but now they're back more and more frequently. You know, you used to go to the album store and you had to decide if you wanted the standard version for $10.99 or, you know, the deluxe version, which had the more attractive album cover. It probably included a poster in there and a few extra bonus tracks. And of course, that costed a few extra dollars. That was a big decision to make, right? You, you do want the regular version or the deluxe version. And then came streaming, which sort of wiped out the, you know, purpose of physical album sales. If fans could just pay one flat fee for a subscription and get all the music they want, then why would they, you know, spend money on individual albums? So if that was no longer a thing people did, then trying to upsell them and buy the deluxe version seemed pointless as well. So deluxes kind of just disappeared for a while. And again, now they're back. It seems nowadays the purpose of a deluxe album is sort of like downloadable content for video games. You know, back in the day, you used to have to pay extra money for, you know, maps on Call of Duty. Remember the map packs came out, you had to spend 15 bucks to play that. Nowadays they're free and I think that's to, you know, preserve the life cycle of games, to keep players playing the game without having to spend any additional cash. And I think it's the same thing for albums nowadays. You know, they come out on streaming platforms, the, you know, fans, the consumers still not have to spend any additional money, but they'd like to hear the extra songs, so why not get the deluxe albums? And I think they serve a few purposes, actually. It's not just to give leftover tracks, which may not have met the original deadline for the, you know, the regular album, but also it's to, you know, give fans another look at the album as well. Perhaps the first time they heard it, they weren't feeling it that much. They might have not have been paying full attention, but the second time around, you know, it gives fans an additional chance to hear what the artist has to offer. And again, it also lengthens the cycle of the album. They play it once, they may not revisit it, but if the deluxe comes out, you know, it gives them every reason to go back, check out that album again, listen to the few bonus tracks on there too. And I don't think it's, you know, a good idea necessarily for every project to have a deluxe version, but you know, every now and then, it's not a bad idea to have artists include some more songs on there, keep the fans coming back, Deluxe albums could be the way to go.